South Africans have embraced the spirit of Diwali in a big way, with many cities hosting celebrations, including Johannesburg. Here's a taste of how Gauteng enjoyed the Festival of Lights. Josie pulsed to an eastern beat as people made their way to the Gauteng Diwali Festival. The origins of the festival can be traced back to ancient Hindu scriptural references to the Lord Rama, who together with his wife Sita and his brother Lakshmana returned from a 14-year exile after the defeat of Ravana. Children presented a dramatized version of the story as a reminder of Diwali's roots and message. The breeze gave some welcome relief from the summer heat as young and old enjoyed the family-friendly event, with festival director Pumani Naidu ensuring that her well-oiled management machine was running smoothly. Through the years, we've developed a quite a strong team with volunteers coming from all over the Gauteng to assist us to put this festival together. Our stall owners have supported us throughout the years for the past three years. We have a kiddies tent that is running where we cater for all the kids so what the parents can do and they can do their shopping while the kids are being entertained. The kids weren't the only ones to be entertained with people enjoying both classical and contemporary performances. Diwali events are enjoying steadily growing popularity and Gauteng is no exception, as Dina Pillay of The Post commented. We think it's a wonderful project. It's taking place in Cape Town, Johannesburg, Durban. This is my first year in Joburg and I'm actually quite thrilled with the turnout. The weather's perfect. Everything seems to be going great guns for this festival. If you are at all puzzled by what a Mela actually is, you wouldn't need to look any further because this event had all the elements. Diwali is definitely a very special time for Hindus especially. It is the celebration of good over evil, uh, light over darkness. It's bringing all the Indians together. There's not many of that in Gauteng especially. And yeah, we definitely look forward to it because it's very busy for us as uh, traders. You'd find everything you needed to prepare your home for the Diwali celebrations. Uh, the atmosphere is fantastic. I'm proud to be offering authentic Indian handicraft. We have a whole lot of uh, wall plates and then I have statues of our deities and it's all made out of aluminium oxidized metal. Bringing together Indians in this form brings together the culture of uh, celebrating what Hindus believe in. For me it's the exposure, the excitement, the build up to the festival that makes it exciting. It's fun to shop, but that's not the real essence of Omela or Diwali. More importantly, it creates an opportunity for people to get together. As festival coordinator, Avish Kalicharan explained. The people of Kauteng really look forward to this festival because it, it takes them back to their roots, takes them back to the fact that there's something cultural and a big way that's going on. It's one of the biggest cultural events in the Indian calendar. We invite artists to participate. We put on the show, always getting good raving reports about the event. The program featured bhajans performed by local vocalists and musicians. A bhajan is a song with a religious theme or spiritual message. And being derived from a Hindi word that means sharing, it's in perfect harmony with the central idea behind Diwali. My message uh, to everyone is, you know, that we celebrate this, we embrace this, and and you know, uh, most of all, that we uh, this we celebrate the, the togetherness that it's supposed to bring. I wish you everything of the best, light, joy, and hope. There's always an opportunity for us to do good and to do things for other people. So don't worry about bringing or waiting for light to come into our lives. Let's put light into other people's lives. You know, what we're looking for in Diwali is the prosperity of our nation. Prosperity and peace, that's most important. My message to all the Indians in South Africa would be to get into the celebratory mood. We like this ambience, we like this atmosphere, electric. We're loving the atmosphere, we're loving the crowd, we're loving the fact that we are proudly South African Indian and we can celebrate that. As the sun faded, the stage was set for a scintillating performance by Tina Kapp and her oriental fire dancers.
where you can find everything all in one place with very talented singers and we just find it such a rich family oriented culture so we love being a part of that. Well, as Diwali is the festival of lights and really a time where all of us come together to celebrate good over evil. I hope this is a very special time for everybody with their families. By now, festival goers had worked up a healthy appetite for the delicious bunnies, briyanis, stir fries and other eastern delights. With supper in hand, they could sit back and enjoy the music and map out their own moves for when the dancing would begin. It was a time to live in the moment and make the most of it. I would like to tell you people, live, love, laugh, because you never know. Kal ho na ho. From your DJ Zubi. Thank you, have a good day. The crowd is amazing, the vibe is amazing, and uh, we've got such amazing acts coming up. So I think that's what makes it all the more special. What a wonderful way people to come together and just celebrate a different culture. The atmosphere here is amazing, and I'm really, really enjoying my time here. I have one more song to perform later, so I hope you catch it. time full of love, light and happiness. After Larisha, there was one more song to get the crowd warmed up before the Lotus FM team took to the stage to get the crowd rocking to a Bhangra beat. Just as Diwali is the festival of light, let the light within you shine and lead the way to your happiness. Candles and oil lamps are quiet symbols of the festival of lights. But when it comes to bringing the celebrations to a spectacular climax, nothing beats a cascade of fire in the night sky to evoke the cosmic victory of light over darkness.